sport we know today as candle pin bowling can trace its history for over 7,000 years to 5200 B.C. when implements for a similar game were discovered in the tomb of an Egyptian child. It's been modernized to keep up with the times, but basically it's the same game as played by the ancient pharaohs. Through the ages, its popularity has increased until today, bowling is America's leading participation sport. Bowling, like other sources of pleasure, has existed for a very long time. Also like bowling, our definitions of pleasure have evolved since the pharaohs. While the history of sports originating in the Fertile Crescent is riveting, other things come to mind these days. For instance, current research suggests that women may be having less sex today than women did in the 1950s. So have our sources of pleasure and our desires evolved since the women's movement in the USA? Desire, said the French analyst Jacques Lacan, has indestructible permanence. Desire is inextinguishable. Some women complain that the all-consuming fire that once fueled their relationships has been close to extinguished. Increasingly, women rate self-knowledge, efficacy, communication, emotional closeness and connection over hot sex. This raises the question of whether intimacy and pleasure without sex is just as possible as its more publicized reverse, sex without intimacy. These and other questions were tossed to a Boston Women's Bowling League. Unfortunately, those babes are interested in just one thing, and not giving interviews. Fortunately, across America, there are women eager to interrogate pleasure. Seven amazing women joined this quest. A psychologist sex therapist, a midwife teen mother, an entrepreneur philanthropist, a poet former sex addict, a sociologist ex-stripper, a gynecologist humanitarian, and a nurse who is also an ex-nun. Each woman weighed in on the evolution of pleasure. These are their stories. <laughs> 